Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we're going to see just how good tour players are from 30 to 50 yards. A real grey area for wedge shots, very, very tough and challenging because it's well outside the technique you might use around the green, but it's a long way from a full shot, so it's a tough distance. I've got a 25 ball test set out for me to try and go through. We're going to go through that, we're going to pick up the data, we're going to go into the office, have a dig into it and see just how good tour players really are. Now don't forget, if you don't subscribe, hit the button below, hit the notifications bell, please leave a comment, let me know how good you are at this range of wedge shot, if it's something you struggle with, and we can start to add content to make you better at this range. All right, so we've got four pins ranging from 30 in the front right, we've got 50 in the back right. Uh, there's a pin just forward of middle, left, back left. Okay, so we've got that range from 30 to 50. Um, each set of five balls, I'm gonna hit one to each target, then cycle through, there's gonna be no repetition um, of distances consecutively, so I can't really get a feel or a touch going. We have to make this as golf-like as possible. Okay, so no two shots the same in a row. Uh, without further chat, we'll give it a go. I'm a bit anxious about this. I haven't even had a warm-up, so we're gonna go front right, which is an absolutely disgusting pin. <sighs> 30 yards, I mean, you've gotta hit it pretty close to not lose strokes here. Let's see what we can do. As you can see, there's a bit of a slope away that is actually a decent shot. Okay, let's keep working through. I mean, it looks pretty good. Just releasing out a little bit. As you can see, that first bounce is quite firm. strong again and that's popped right up it's gonna be way short Good strike oh, the hole I reckon that was in Should come a, oh wow. So like that's the only way to do it. Much better. There's somebody fast approaching. I might be getting sold off. We'll see you in a second. Let's go back to front right. hang a bit so quick. There's a flag. Oh man. I think that was going to be pretty good. <laughs> We're going to have a reload on that one. That's going to be, you know, a little bit unfair. So we're going to reload. We're going to go same deal. Back left flag. Going to replay that shot. Take the other ball out. A bit further left this time. Should skip. Gotta be pretty good. Still eight, nine feet long. Oh, I pulled it by a mile. <laughs> I, I cannot leave that short of the flag. And that's a really nice shot though. I'll, I'll be happy with that every single time. That needs to sit. See ya. Didn't mind that, just probably carried a couple of feet too far, didn't have the spin. 
I just hit it. Almost hit the stick again. Okay. Oh man, that needs a bounce. But oh, really got a bounce as well. I thought I was gonna hit that stick again. All right, so we've got that one, that's fine. That's probably seven, eight feet, not upset. Mm. Yanked it, it's gonna feed down a little bit. Oh man, I've actually missed the green. Talk about a loss of concentration, that was it right there. Final ball, relax. You know, say that's when accidents happen, right? It's within a mile of your home in the car. I was nearly home and I've completely screwed up. Right, so I'm gonna take a walk over. Uh, I'm gonna get the exact yardages for each target. I'm gonna get the proximity for every golf ball. Gonna note it down. Then we'll step into the office and have a look at the destruction. So here we are back in the office. Uh, I've plugged all the numbers into a spreadsheet. I've got my strokes gain for every shot hit. I've got my strokes gain for every target that I hit at uh, across the five balls. And I've got my proximity average relative to tour average. Not the very best player, just the average across all tour players measured. Uh, that's not exact as in if I had 29 yards, I use 30. If I had 33, I use 35, just because those five yard increments are more readily available. Uh, to get the data on from the, the tour, or very, very simply. So without further ado, let's dig into this. Let's see how I did. I felt like I did really badly. You probably also thought I did really badly, but let's see what the numbers say. So let's have a look through. Uh, let's see how I did. So numbers are right here. And I've zoomed in a little bit, so I don't give it all away instantly. Uh, so I've got my shot numbers on the left here. Now, not the order they were hit, so it's this first set of five to the 29 yard front right. Uh, then we've got the front left and then we go through the other three targets as we go down. Then I've got my proximity right here. So we learned to shot there, proximity in feet, just to the right uh, of the shots collected around each target. So 10, 8, 7, 2, 15, uh, 8.4 foot average. I've dropped the averages in just below that bottom row from each set. Uh, now, if you're watching carefully in the video, you'll realize that I didn't replay that ball that hit the stick. So I hit 24 shots. So I only had four balls to the 50 yard target back right. You know, hopefully that doesn't discredit my little bit of fun too much. Maybe, we'll see. Anyway, so let's see how I did. So we'll start with the 29 yarder. You can see the 33 right here as well. I can't really hide it. I could make the screen tiny, but I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, a bit more square. Um, we'll just whiz across and have a look at what happened as far as strokes gained went. So I'll move across. And from 29 yards, you'll see that I actually gained on four of the five shots, three of the five shots. Terrible with numbers. Three of the five shots. So I was negative 0.1 on ball one at 10 feet. Now, so it's safe to say that negative 0.1 is pretty damn close to zero. So you can assume that the average tour player is gonna be, as far as strokes gain plus minus goes, because it's not the same as average proximity. Um, they're going to be between nine and ten feet, you know, to get zero strokes gained. Now, ten just outside, eight is going to be just inside. Seven gain a little bit more. Hit one to two feet, so that gains me almost half a shot, half shot stroke gains for that one. And then I lose just over a quarter at fifteen feet. Okay, so what seemed like quite a big destructive miss at the time, fifteen feet, it's lost me a quarter of a shot, but I've gained massively by hitting one to two feet. Uh, we got to 33 yards, proximity is 21, 1, 6, 9, 11, and you can see I lost strokes again on two of the five shots. I had a big gain again by hitting it to a foot. I had a six foot that gave me 0.2, which is good, probably better than you would think. Um, nine feet, pretty much bang on zero or as near as, and a bit of a loss in that 21 footer. So both sets so far, there's been one bigger miss, which has lost me a fair chunk. Uh, let's move out to the next target. So that was the flag, which is 37 yards, 12, 5, 8, 6, and 3. Uh, gained on four out of five shots, so not bad at all. Uh, so I was, I was gaining every single time, except for that small miss, 0.15, not huge, 12 feet. 12 feet it doesn't feel good from 37 yards because you're probably not going to make the putt. 
um, but it didn't lose me a great deal. And then hitting it inside eight feet or eight feet and in four times is a nice little pickup. So I almost gained a full shot at 0.96 uh, to that flag. As unimpressed as I felt with what I did, it didn't feel very good at all. 46 yards, suddenly stretched out a little bit, that back left, it was a tricky flag I felt. But I walked back there and I had seven foot, five foot, eight, eight and 12. So biggest miss at 12, losing 0 0.01 if we're rounding and gaining four out of five times. So I didn't feel like I actually hit that many good shots of that flag. But the way the green worked, it certainly seemed to pick up speed, didn't slow down, but behind the flag, it slowed it up a nice amount. So the misses I felt were a bit clumsy, a little bit long. You know, they were both eight feet, so it wasn't bad at all. And then we got to the further shot, the 50 yarder. And again, I had a huge miss, uh, 30 feet. It was just horrific and it lost me 0.3 of a shot. Uh, so the biggest loss uh, of the whole test and it was just honestly you'd hit that shot and i would just be beside myself but it's lost me 0.3 of a shot and I'm at the end of the world and i've managed to pick up 0.6 i'm rounding 0.58 by hitting it to three feet so one good shot one really good shot in the set um the others were both double digits i had 10 foot 11 foot so i wasn't really doing particularly well i lost on the 11 footer uh, the 10 got me at pretty much zero, but I had a big gain at three and a big loss at 30, so I ended up gaining 0.23 of a shot because of that one good effort. Um, I think there is context for that in a round of golf in that you are going to hit some very average wedge shots, and there are, especially in this range, which is tough. You are going to hit some balls that don't finish particularly close. But you know, the thing is, you just have a go at your part and you see if you can make it. If you can't, you just tap it in, you walk away. Yeah, you've probably made a bogey or you may not have picked up a shot on a par five, but if you stick with it, chances are you are gonna hit a couple of good wedge shots you're gonna gain. All right, so I am as surprised as anybody that I gained 2.3 shots overall in that 24 ball test. I came off it sure that I was gonna lose two or three shots, but gaining 2.3. So certainly some context for your practice and your expectations to how close you should be hitting these wedge shots in reality versus how close you think you should be hitting them. Let's look at the tour average proximities. So 29 yards, 11.33 uh, was the tour average there. I gained, or I was almost three foot better on average at 29 yards. You know, so that front right pin, which wasn't an easy pin. It was very, very difficult to get the ball pin high. It was always going long unless I tried to bounce it short of the green or significantly and just roll it on slowly, which was risky. So I was pretty pleased with that. We go out to the next one, which is 33. And 11.9 would be the tour average. Again, gain 2.3. I should stop saying gained. I'm 2.3 feet closer than the tour average there. We go out to the flag at 37. I am five feet closer than average. That's making me look really good. And I'm not that good. 6.8 gained at the 46 yarder versus to average at 14.8 feet and 15 feet on average from 50 yards and I lost at 50. I was a little bit outside from 50, so I was genuinely better than tour average on this occasion. And I would expect myself to do a bit better than I actually did in the test. I feel like I wasn't playing my normal game. I wasn't generating the spin I usually generate, so I had to adapt, um, which, you know, if we look at it realistically, you have to adapt when you go and play golf courses uh, in different places anyway, different grasses, or different conditions. So in a perfect world, I would hope to do better than I did in this test. But in the real world, when you haven't got as much control or as much familiarity maybe with the game you want to play with your wedges, then your adaptability is huge. And I had to do that. These guys have to do it every single week. Um, I, I'm not really sure what to say beyond that. It's, it's a case of expectation levels typically are way higher than they should be. So in summary, I did better than I thought I did. Um, the numbers bear it out. Is it a perfect comparison? No. Does it fill me with confidence? No, because I didn't hit the shots I wanted to hit. Am I going to beat myself up about the shots I want to hit? Absolutely not. I didn't seem to see the numbers for that, um, but if you're the kind of person that does, have a look at something like this. It might reveal to you um, that you're actually much better than you think you are.